but we want to get right to the weather. It's the big story this morning. Take a look at this live shot. This is Coal City, Illinois, about 75 miles outside of Chicago, devastated by these tornadoes that moved through the Midwest uh, over the night. Al, good morning to you. And we're not even sure that they, these could be straight line winds. We had what's called a derecho, a long line of thunderstorms stretching over 500 miles, and this could be straight line winds. Winds in this line were estimated to get up to 100 miles per hour, about an EF1 tornado strength. So we're going to continue to track that. Also, let's take a look, show you what's happened. This is in Sublette, uh, Illinois. There was a trailer camp, uh, RV camp. Five people were trapped inside. And what a mess. I mean, folks, f thankfully, were not injured. But a real mess as straight line winds again move through that area as well. And now here comes that same line pushing through western New York and central Pennsylvania. In fact, you can see heavy thunderstorms pushing through. And as they do, we've had wind gusts of 75 miles per hour being reported in Niagara Falls and central New York. Buffalo right now, things starting to clear up. But we're going to watch this line continue to move. 23 million people at risk for a slight risk area inch di in, high, in diameter hail wind gust to 55 miles per hour but there's an enhanced risk for 47 million people from Boston New York Philly Washington this line is going to start moving in sometime later this afternoon around 12 1 o'clock this afternoon look for massive airport delays from Boston New York right down into Washington if there is any good news with this guys it will break our heat wave here in the Northeast but it's going to stay in the southeast we're going to look at that in just a little bit